Family owned and operated since 1964, Gibson's Fish and Chips is still Saskatoon's first choice for traditional English fish and chips. They're famous for their responsibly sourced Pacific cod and homemade batter that's prepared daily, and their delicious french fries cut in house, but they also serve shrimp, scallops, calamari, and even chicken. Gibson's Fish and Chips, 1025 Louise Avenue. Hey, Jay from Doug's Spoken Sport. I came by to visit all your, your Christmas elves in, in the back. And uh, there's a lot more room back there because there's not as many bikes. You guys have switched over into repairing skis and yeah, things we're like skis. Doing ski and snowboard, but we haven't stopped uh, repairing bikes for the winter. People are riding throughout the year and, oh, yeah. and that kind of thing. So we're still doing bike repairs, installing studded tires and getting the fat bikes ready to go. Cool. But if you uh, dig into your skis for the winter and you find out they're for some reason growing barnacles on them, you can come on down too. Doug Spoken Sport, 225 20 Street West. Sand off the barnacles, get some, some edging on there. Or... Make them go fast down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Visit Ramey, visit Ramey Modern to experience Source, a major new exhibition by Canadian artist Sarah Swinar. Combining materials from varied and unexpected sources, she creates densely layered collage works that speak to our endless accumulation of consumer products and pictures. Source also features an immersive viewing experience for her latest film project. Learn more about the exhibition and what's happening at the museum at RaimiModern.org. Hi, I'm David. And I'm Shay. And we are Bored on the Air from Thursday nights at 6 p.m. on CFCR. On our show, you'll hear us talking about board games and board game related topics. We will touch on some board gaming news from the board gaming community. And the games that we've been playing this week. Then to cap off our show, we will talk about a main topic that has piqued our interest for that week. That's right. So catch us every Thursday at 6 o'clock on CFCR. Bored on the Air. So, honey, how do you like our new home? I love it. Let's make sure to get insurance on it, though. I can wait till tomorrow. Right now, I'm trying to light this dang barbecue for our steaks. It's not lighting. It's okay, honey. You just gotta keep trying until... You should have expected the unexpected. With Cherry Insurance, you will be protected. All right, this hour of Green Eggs and Ham is, in fact, brought to you by Cherry Insurance, CFCR, and Saskatchewan's trusted family-run insurance broker. Let the experienced Cherry professionals in Saskatoon, Prince Albert, and North Balfour help you make sense of all your personal business, farm, and specialty insurance needs. Visit them online at cherryinsurance.ca. And it's an extra special hour. Hello, Brett. <laughs> I have with me here... Uh, Socially distanced, of course. We are over six feet apart. We are masked up. And uh, we're uh, going to talk about something extremely special that happened during this pandemic, during these difficult times. I always say that, that uh, the resilient uh, human will always break through with creativity and find a way. And Brett Ballin has found a way with his Nutana Collegiate students to not only write, not only perform, not only collaborate but produce, mix, and possibly master enough repertoire to create an entire album. So tell me about how this project began. Did it, I'm curious about whether it started because you, 
you said, okay, we're in a pandemic, let's do something, or whether you just did what you usually do and it blossomed in this time of quarantine? Uh, to answer that, it requires a bit of backstory. Um, we had this like, um, like um, contemporary ensemble performing arts program in Nutana since about, I don't know, six, seven years ago where um, we'd like you know, basically do a school of rock sort of thing. Or, you know, there's uh, two bands of seven people, and yeah. they get together and play covers. And uh, then twice a year, we would partner with the Recording Arts Institute of Saskatoon, and they would uh, record some originals that we yeah, wrote. Yes, so we taught, yeah. taught us songwriting units. And uh, uh, by the end of the year, we'd have like, you know, maybe 20 covers and maybe four originals. And then we'd play a couple of shows and uh, post our stuff on the internet and share it and uh, this sort of stuff. And uh, that was going all well and fine and dandy, but uh, then we shut down last <laughs> March. Of course, him. <laughs> and uh, we were right around the time in the class where we were going to start writing songs. So that kind of all went out the window and um, uh, had to do everything from home and, of course, couldn't go into Reyes. And uh, the idea being... Uh, if you want to write a song, like I'll just workshop with, with you, like one on one or however many people want to get involved. And uh, yeah, they just didn't want to play covers. They just wanted to create. That's amazing. So I, I kind of felt that motivation and said, like, well, let's do as much as we can. So we started trying to record over Zoom, which <laughs> as, if you've know. ever tried, or, like, you, we've th- tried rehearsing over Zoom and it's it does not work. Yeah, there's, the, work. You're, there's too much distance. There's too much, there's too much tech getting in the way. So just having a one on one Zoom meeting with people where I don't know how much you want to get into the tech of like, well, how it works to record over I'm, Zoom or how it doesn't work. Well, that's I'm, I'm curious how you did it because the first two tracks that we're going to play, um, which, I'll introduce, um, which I'll introduce, were done entirely over Zoom. Yeah, so these first two were uh, uh, back in, in March and they took as many as about 100 hours each. Oh, just, wow. And that's not saying that it was like a, you know, all good use of time because I was learning how to do it. Um, and of course, like you're recording over Zoom, you get in the meeting, everybody shuts off their video, and then you try to get the highest quality audio possible and put the, their laptop right next to the guitar amp or sing directly into it, like here, <laughs> and uh, uh, then record the meeting. And then when you got the part, close the meeting so you can get the file and then put the file into the digital audio workstation and then see if it will actually sync up because maybe that click was not quite happening in the background. Wow. Yeah, it's, it was bananas. So it took a lot of trial and error to try to figure it out. Um, the first one was just me and one other student uh, named Lydia. And this happened to be released on the day that we were supposed to go into the Recording Arts Institute of Saskatoon and uh, um, uh, do an original. So it was kind of good timing there. Uh, but I think there's 60 different tracks on this particular recording, like 10 vocals, um, bass drums you get the picture but uh, yeah. uh this one was like we would just like take one guitar chord at a time and then i'd sample that and put it in the right spot and then get her to play just the track just clean best audio signal possible and yeah. then then mess with effects and stuff like that and get it through done so this one this one was about 100 hours with a uh time uh which you can do at any time when you're working from home so some of this was like at four in the morning or some of it this was like at four in the morning or some of it was like <laughs> well, you know, i guess it's an advantage then. advantage you don't have to leave your house but <laughs> yeah you sometimes still... when you're having a class in the morning you're not necessarily getting the best out of everybody but no. this you can do it whenever you're ready well, which was pretty cool so now i'm gonna play uh the song i'm gonna ask a couple because i want to get as much of the music uh, in as possible, which is why anybody who tunes in to uh, Monday Edition with uh, Julian Snyder and Green Eggs and Ham knows I love to chat and I just want to sit and chat. I want to ask you a lot of questions, but uh, let's hear uh, this song uh, by Lydia, Nutana Collegiate student, uh, original, uh, performed uh, and recorded and mixed over Zoom. <laughs> so the song I'm going to play for you of Lydia's is uh, All These Years. You're tuned in to CFCR 90.5 FM. This is Monday edition of Green Eggs and Ham here with Brett Ballin. All right. How can I help? What should I do? I feel the distance go between me and you. After all these years, you think I know you better. Oh, you are. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my God. That now, that was uh, Andy, was a student with Cotton Candy Clouds. And how many students are participating in that? that on that one, there was seven, as opposed to the first one. It was just me and Lydia kind right. of like bouncing back and forth, um, learning how to do the thing. And then um, uh, Andy uh, wrote this one, uh, uh, lyrics and melody. And then uh, we took it and uh, I, I put, I think, seven or eight different students on it and different tracks playing different instruments or doing some like production assistant stuff like does yeah. this mix sound good can you hear this that sort of stuff and that was eventually our grad song that was eventually our grad song really so that one lyric really like um, it makes me choke up thinking of it it's like um sure your mind is gray and i'm sure you miss your family but cotton clandy clouds are telling me it'll be okay uh, that see? was right like in the middle of start of april where everybody was just like, oh, terrified man and that that again just shows the resilience that people yeah. have through all of this, and and a lot of it is through songwriting. I, and it, now tell me more again. And, and Lydia uh, is this uh, Lydia's song. All these years is what I played before that. And uh, now, you, while we were listening to it, you know, Brett and I were, were chatting a bit, and and Brett's like, "Oh yeah, well, this Lydia was like singing into her laptop." I'm like, "What?" And also working one on one, like so much 
integral part of the whole making of it. But I, I wanted to ask you about the learning curve for you, Brett. You're oh, a musician goodness. extraordinary well, I'm, I'll tell teacher. you when I'm over the peak of it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of going, going. Because it's not, not only to... a learning curve as a teacher, it's a learning curve as a producer. Yeah, I'd never really done that work before. And I have no idea if it's it's working or not. I mean, if I think it sounds good and I bounce the ideas off some other people, then, you know, we'll we'll post it. But, uh, you know, <laughs> but, uh, I'm, I'm learning by doing in the, in the middle of the thing. And I'm grateful for that opportunity to, you yeah. know. I mean, one of the biggest things when this happened, um, especially when all the kids were at home and being homeschooled, uh, and uh, mm. because we know a lot of musicians, we know a lot of band teachers, and I'm like, how on earth yeah. do you get 30 students together to play band when it's all about collaboration during this right. time? And so, yeah. collaboration during this right. time. And so, yeah. everybody kind of threw in the towel. I actually was just on a Zoom chat with family, and they're all musicians. They're saying, and in Toronto, everything's shut down. They're like, oh, no way, I haven't played music since before March. And I'm like, well, things are happening here, you know, actually. Mm. And tomorrow is like on the radio show, like tune in because it's a perfect example of how people are still writing, performing, collaborating. And this is students. So, yeah, these are, these are young people. You know. Like uh, just eager for the opportunity to, you know, channel the complicated emotions of the time into, into yeah. something, you know, productive. And, and working together instead of just cutting programs that seem impossible to do you say no nothing's impossible we'll make it work and you made it work with this incredible music so uh, i'm gonna play another one of jotty's it's okay called yeah. uh keep, um yep are you keep flying first is that yeah i think that that would be good because that was this is the first one we did at the start of this brand new school year where um i'm, I'm not doing all of it over zoom anymore like i, I we have a small recording studio at nutana it's it's, it's small but functional and i'm allowed to have one person at a time socially okay. distanced in there so um I, I just sort of like multi-track layers of people coming in and doing the thing and um occasionally the student will have something like pretty much all complete they just need the tools to get it done right. so yeah. um uh, some of these are using uh, pre-produced uh instrumental tracks that the student has curated and uh, otherwise edited and, and yeah. worked around what's going on so uh, this uh, student came to me she's like yeah i've got lots of songs just give me yeah i've got lots of songs just give me the microphone let me go and so I, th I think we've done maybe eight of hers so far. Wow. Um, and this was the first one at the very start of the year. So it's uh, Keep Flying by Jody. Sweet. Here on CFCR 90.5 FM. <laughs> I 
Okay. Wow, that was really very emotionally powered and charged and beautiful. And I love the the effects and everything. That was uh, Jody's "Keep Flying." Uh, now I'm going to play a couple. Uh, now I'm going to play a couple of songs from the artist Mandy. Ah, it's nice. Mandy. Uh, shout out to Mandy. Uh, it's her birthday tomorrow. Oh, ah, happy, happy birthday, Mandy! <laughs> I'm so glad that. Uh, we get to debut all this incredible music here on CFCR. It's exciting. And that's what I love about community radio is that we get to do it. And so happy to share this incredible talent. And these are all as yet unreleased. Yeah, so they're on our YouTube page. Um, and one of the reasons that uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here at all today is I, I made like a, a kind of, I, we're at the start of a new semester right now. Yeah. I kind of look back at the previous semester. What, what, what did we do? Um, I, I, uh, how can I uh, use this to try to um, recruit more students for next semester and stuff like that? So I looked back at our YouTube channel and realized that I just, like, these students are coming to me and they've got tunes and I'm just kind of working, keeping my head down. I looked at the end of the semester and I was like, good Lord, there are 22 original tunes and I think 17 covers, where in a regular year we would do from September to June, um, maybe four originals and then maybe 20 covers, maybe. So we've done the things that we would usually get done in a year. Um, before the midway point. And we didn't start till October, right? Just to wow. get this thing up and running. Um, and speaking of which, shout out to my administration team at Nutana, um, Tammy <laughs> Jeralemy and Chris Roy, who um, um, I'm so grateful that they had the faith in me to kind of do this thing, not knowing whether it would get any traction or not. But uh, um, yeah, thanks. Thanks, team. Um, yeah, thanks. Thanks, team. You, you guys rule. Um, <laughs> And, well, that uh, is the great. students are better off as a result. So. Well, precisely. And that's putting the students and the creativity first and foremost and, and, and providing the support. I think that's, that's integral as well. Uh, holy cow. And like you said, I mean, but again, it's, it's just you're put in a position where you think that there's not going to be anything. And then all of a sudden you get more, not only more than you expected, but more than ever before. You know? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I, like I, I had, you know... Um, not low expectations, but um, um, like measured expectations is like how this is going to go. And yeah. I, I never expected it to be the, like just kind of blow up like this. Or at, yeah. At least uh, the enthusiasm to create it's really right. spoke to me. Uh, um, Mandy's Tunes. Yes. Um, there's an interesting thing that we did with this first one um, where they were uh, doing a poetry unit in an English class. This and, is Kid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a song called Kid. And they use this, uh, uh, the poetry for scoring points in their English class as well as with the band class too. Oh, so we okay. did some cool cross-curricular stuff with that as well. Shout out to Cody Dill, whose class that was. Nice. Master educator Cody Dill. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, Mandy's Kid followed by um, the most recent one we've done, which is called It's You Now. All oh, right. Here on CFCR 90.5 FM, you're tuned into this Monday edition of, the, of Green Eggs and Ham and we are debuting the incredible uh, pandemic, uh, pandemic, <laughs> not inspired, but in a way inspired, that just shows how, how people are resilient. They come through and the creativity just bursts out through all barriers uh, and happy to be debuting this music. Uh, Mandy, uh, it is her song Kid and followed by her song It's You Now.
get closer, can I come back to a normal to just be a kid? We did it, man! We finally achieved our dream of opening a fireworks factory! Yeah! Now we still need to get our commercial insurance. But first, a celebratory cigar! Light her up! Wait, we're in a fireworks factory. You should have expected the unexpected. With Cherry Insurance, you will be protected! Musicians, record labels, and mu record labels and music promoters. Have you heard of Earshot Distro? It's a digital music distribution system set up for campus and community radio stations across Canada. Save money on shipping albums and save time by uploading your releases to one place to get your music heard by radio stations from St. John's to Vancouver Island and everywhere in between. Sign up for an account at earshot-distro.ca to get started. And right now, Sask Music members can get a $300 upload credit. That's six albums uploaded for free. 
Contact info at saskmusic.org to get your discount code or access it from the online members portal. But you gotta hurry, this offer expires March 21st. Not a Sask Music member? Register today at saskmusic.org slash join. Earshot Distro, supported by Community Radio, CJTR in Regina, and CFCR Saskatoon. ProPrint is your local printer, and we love being a part of the community. We feel that in order for Saskatoon to be strong and vibrant, we need to support one another. We are the go-to print shop for community organizations and can help make your project come to life. So keep us in mind the next time you're in need of printing, a custom rubber stamp, or even a banner for a trade show. Visit us at 127A Avenue D North or online at ProPrint.ca. ProPrint, your local printing pros. Being a CFCR member is its own reward. You'll save 10% at the following local businesses when you flash your businesses when you flash your valid and vibrant CFCR membership card. The Broadway Shoe Repair. Early's Farm and Garden. Doug's Spoken Sport. Home Quarter Coffee House and Bakery. And the Capital Music Club. Keep it handy so you can feel dandy. It's another great perk of being a CFCR member. All right, and we're back with uh, Brett Ballin here in the studio at CCR Hello, headquarters. <laughs> Yay! Uh, so we, just before the break, we heard uh, Mandy's uh, It's You Now and Kid Before That, uh, Nutana Collegiate Student and uh, Birthday Girl tomorrow. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Mandy. <laughs> and uh, we've got uh, a couple of more students that, and he said that, that these are five of many students that are part of this project, but these yeah. are the ones that um, were completed and also that the students gave permission to play on the radio and kudos to all of you for that i mean it's hard for musicians to come out of your shell it's hard to expose yourself like yeah. this and you're thinking oh you know it's, it's going to be out there people are going to be listening to it and a lot of people don't have the courage to do that so you know congratulations <laughs> the willingness of these students to be vulnerable and honest about their experiences both pre post pandemic is is really inspiring to me it's like uh, i remember when we all got sent home last march and said hey to try to figure it all out and hopefully it'll work out and we trust you and believe in you and stuff it was great but it was, it was a little overwhelming because it was like i've never done this before i don't know what to do <laughs> and what to do and uh it's it was tricky but the the students digging in and like you know us um, um, sharing the experience was, was really cool to kind of be together apart together i don't know if as the cliche yeah, goes yeah but uh um yeah, so uh, uh, a lot of the material that's coming out um, as we, you know, isolate ourselves um, tends to be introspective. So these um, next tunes are about um, really personal experiences, and it was uh, really inspiring to see um, the student be willing to share, like, you know, what's going on yeah. in their head and heart. Um, I don't remember when in the year we did this. I think this was around November, maybe like post-Remembrance Day kind of mm -hmm. zone. And um, I should mention that I'm, I'm, talk I'm saying the names of the songwriters on the track out of like, you know, the habit of like who wrote this and who deserves the credit. But there's lots of other people playing on the tracks. Right. 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 So it's, it's, I'm saying the name of this, the singer or the vocalist or the lyric writer and stuff the like songwriter, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just as a matter of that's what I've got consent to be able to do. But there's I think there's, well, 22 students in the class right now. And there was 28 last semester. Wow. And uh, they're all contributing in very meaningful ways. So shout out to my Nutana Music crew you guys are <laughs> like giving me life on a day-to-day -day basis i love you guys and it's true collaboration unbelievable that's amazing so uh we're gonna play the next two tracks are uh is the student alexa and we're gonna play uh first what did i do to deserve this? what did i do to deserve this followed by her song stay strong you're tuned in to CFCR 90.5 FM. I've got Brett Ballin, Nutana Collegiate Music Director, here with me uh, with his Nutana Collegiate Student uh, Music Project. Um, all original music, all collaboration by the students um, with Brett Ballin at the helm, and uh, I'm just blown away. All right, here is Alexa. Like 
that's why I'm writing this song. You're out having drinks while I sit here and sob about how I waited so long just to get blown off. It goes deeper than the surface. You see why I'm hurting? Should be used to it, I'm not. When my pain is your pleasure and it gets to this measure, I just can't go on. Now please sit and listen while I talk. Sit and listen while I talk. That was Alexa uh, with the song Stay Strong. Um, and before that, what did I do to deserve this? Incredibly, like you had said, Brett, incredibly emotionally charged music, um, heart and soul, and created into something extraordinarily cool that well, we can share here today. I'm just thank saying. you. I accept your compliment on behalf of the students, <laughs> of whom I am uh, ridiculously proud. It's uh, uh, a real good feeling, you- feeling to go in there every day and make new stuff in a strange, hazy time. Yeah, seriously. Uh, we, have one more, uh, we have one more student coming up, um, but is there more that you want to add about what is happening with this project? Well, just off the air, we were um, talking about Royal Conservatory. Yes. Right. So yeah. there used to be this thing when I was in high school um, where if you scored a high enough mark on your Royal Conservatory piano test, yeah. they'd give you a high school credit. I don't know how it worked, but I remember like barely practicing like, <laughs> and, and kind of getting through it. I was going to be a music teacher. That's what I was doing, right? Yeah, and yeah. Um, uh, meanwhile, I, I'm playing uh, like in, in the jazz band. Yeah. That was like I was still in high school at that point. And then uh, 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 making albums and playing gigs and uh, jamming in the garage and writing tunes and stuff like that. And yeah. like none of that would have been accepted for a high school music credit, right? Because it doesn't fall within the spectrum of like traditional right. western music yes i remember there was a guy that moved in close to me um who uh, was i was from pakistan and he played tabla which if you know anything about tabla oh, it's just do. like I it's spent- ridiculously difficult it's, it's a full life you have to study for years and years and years and he was amazing yeah. i brought him to the, like the band teacher and it's like can we get this guy in the band he's incredible and the band teacher of course is like i don't know how to integrate this fine no harm no foul <laughs> oh, yeah. but I, imagine him going to say like hey look at me i've been playing this instrument since i was like old enough to yeah. have motor skills and um it kind of like dawned on me when, I, when we started this thing that it's like, huh, we tend to reward traditional colonial Western music as opposed to um, whatever music it is that well, is sacred. Con- whatever music it is that well, is sacred to you. It's an examination. Right. That's why you have to go through an exam to pass. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so my idea was this was to, to try to maybe decolonize the, the, the classroom a little bit in, in a way that uh, whatever is important to you is valid and not just that which falls into the certain genre category of tradition is, is, is considered valid. And I know that wasn't the initial intent, is that we're trying to evolve and get yeah. to a place where we can celebrate um, uh, uh, diversity in as positive a way as possible. So within this class, if you join, you do it A, on your own time. Studio time is available whenever um, uh, uh, you are free, usually afternoons. Yeah. Uh, we also run Zoom meetings at night, and that's part of the class. And whatever it is that you're passionate about, I get the students to make a plan to how to spend the duration of the course uh, for whatever it is that they want to do. Yeah. So I, I, as uh, I, I thought initially that there was going to be like a paralysis of choice, right? And be like, I can do anything I want, therefore I will shut down. Like the, yeah. You know, <laughs> uh, there's too many options on this menu. There, I don't know what, you know. That's what um, happens to most of us. So, uh, but people were right on it. They were like, I want to do this. I want to create. I want to talk about this. I want to do such and such and so forth and so forth and so forth. And uh, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a trick to manage all those separate portfolios. But uh, I tell you, it's worth it because I think people are finding their voice. And, Ooh, yeah, uh, and they, 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 they both, they, I mean, they all spearheaded it they all said no and they sat down and thought about what they wanted to do and getting back to you know getting credit this gives credit to the this gives credit to the entire collaborative process so yeah. no matter what role you are playing in this production uh, and how it comes to the fore like you are recognized as an integral part of the project and that's, I think, a very, very cool point. Yep. You said earlier that it's spearheaded by Brett Ballant. Not, not really. It's spearheaded by the students. Well, no, I meant the you students. But, yeah. but I mean, like... I'm the, the, you... I'm the trampoline. They're, they're the gymnasts. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. The question I had right at the very beginning. Like, is this a project that you sat in your office and thought, how can I make this work? Let's do this. Or was it this organic thing that kind of flowed through the students themselves and cre was created by the students themselves with you just sort of managing and bringing it to the fore and getting it to a place where we could play it on the radio? The latter. That you, I couldn't have said it better. Yeah, yeah. It's, wow. it's, uh, yeah um, um, we, we could have done something more. It's like, here's what we're going to do, and these are the expectations that you're going to fall into. But if you let people chart their own path, especially at the ages that they are, these students yeah. are between 16 and 22. Yeah. And... Um, uh, yeah. Uh, before we play these last two tunes, I wanted to plug our, um, our YouTube page. If you search Newtown of Music on um, uh, YouTube, you'll come up with our channel there, and you'll hear a whole lot more music than just what you've heard today. This is yeah. but a sliver of uh, <laughs> that which has been going on for the last seven years, too. And I think all those tunes are in your library here now, too. That is very cool. Yes. Yes, they are. And uh, so they would subscribe to the Nutana Collegiate YouTube Yep, Nutana channel? Music Saskatoon. Sweet. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, well, so to conclude, okay, well, so to conclude uh, this, uh, these five artists from the Nutana Collegiate uh, project, music project, we have Lydia. Uh, we began the show with a, a song that Lydia had done over uh, Zoom, which yeah. is still, I just might blow a gasket when I think about how that's <laughs> even possible. Uh, but it apparently is, because holy moly. And now we're going to conclude with two more of her songs, uh, one called Bittersweet and then uh, fire. I wanted to give a shout out to the. Um, there's a wicked guitar solo at the end of um, Bittersweet um, that uh, was played by Hunter. Um, nice. Also, a shout out to Cairo, who um, was the singer on Cotton Candy Clouds and has played bass on a lot of these tracks. Sweet. <laughs> um, and Fiona, who um, has been uh, playing guitar in the background a lot of these too. There's been so many contributors to these things. If I keep, I'm going to forget somebody, but like I tell you, if you're on that class list and we're talking regularly, I love you and appreciate you and you've been doing <laughs> excellent, excellent work. Well, I'm so glad that you are here to let us know about this. When I play music, I often want to always tell who the uh, instrumentalists were who, uh, who collaborated, but this, these are all unreleased uh, songs uh, that can only be found on YouTube. So I'm going to play these two songs and uh, then I'll come back and say my uh, adieus to Brett. But uh, here is Lydia. Bittersweet, followed by fire, here on CFCR 90.5 FM.
And that was uh, Lydia's Bittersweet uh, here on CFCR, uh, part of the Nutana Collegiate uh, song, well, I can't say songwriting project. It's so much more than that. Uh, what would you call the project? Uh, right? We're calling it a virtual music class. Nice. <laughs> you can get credits in guitar, um, uh, general music, uh, band, or choir, depending upon what your plan is. Ah, and uh, uh, so with the, you basically at the helm, uh, with the creativity flowing all around you, sort of honed it down, many hours of work, and this is a learning curve for you as well. Yeah, um, it's it's been an amazing experience to try to learn what's going on and, and to have a little bit of a, you know nutrients in the soul during the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. And wow. Yeah, I'll, I'll never forget this school year for... <laughs> uh, a bunch of reasons. Shout out to all my um, educator colleagues out there that are on the front lines every day, fighting the good fight and taking care of the next generation. Like, exactly. Ooh, I, I know what it's like right now. Gosh, we appreciate you. Amazing. Uh, so we heard from Lydia, uh, Alexa, Mandy, uh, Jody, uh, Jody, um, and Andy. Um, all students and all collaborating with fellow students. And about 20 other students oh, playing in the tracks beneath that, too. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody. So uh, I just want to thank you again, Brett Ballon, for coming and joining me to talk about this incredible project. Thank you so much for the privilege of sharing this music on CFCR. Well, it's a privilege to be able to work in this capacity right now. And uh, uh, I tell you, I appreciate you having me come on here. I know this is... Uh, all volunteer work for you, and, and it's all uh, just thank you so much. Happy volunteer work. <laughs> okay, we've got so many roads coming up next with uh, Derwin with Roots, Blues, and Country coming your way. And uh, as usual, I will uh, close with a Tom Waits song, but I'm going to play a song from uh, the early years, Volume 1. We all had to start somewhere. Here's Tom Waits with the song So Long, I'll See Ya. Thanks for tuning in to this very special edition of uh, Green Eggs and Ham. And uh, you can find what I played uh, on Green Eggs Nam with Jillian Snyder. I will post the playlist. And, uh, yeah. All right. Take care. Thanks, Brett. Peace, everybody. <laughs> Buick's that's that wedding blues. Mm -hmm.